Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVentures. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Sky Guider Pro or the Star Adventurer. Today, I wanted to take a quick moment and talk to you about intervalometers. Fact is, is that if you're going to shoot anything over 30 seconds in length, you're going to have to use an intervalometer. Now with that, um, intervalometers can get very pricey, but you know, it's, it's doing a very basic and simple job. And so therefore I prefer to go with a simpler unit and spend less money. And for years I've been using this unit, the F1103 model number from Fotix. It is a wired system, plugs into the side of the camera, and then it plugs into the top of the handheld uh, transmitter here. It's been great. It works. Um, however, it does have to sit here with my equipment and over uh, many, many trips from time to time it has fallen and it has enough weight that it unplugs itself and it's hit the ground. It has many bites in it from hitting the concrete and the rocks and eventually it died. It's done. So back to the store to drop another 35, 40 bucks. Well, because I've dropped that darn thing so many times, I was thinking on it. I really wish there was another option such as a wireless unit that I could look at that wouldn't necessarily break the bank. So heading down to my local camera guy, Mike at Fars Jewelry, uh, Ogden, Utah. I headed down there, talked to him, and he showed me this unit from Pixel. This is the uh, Nikon version, TW283 is the um, model for this one. And this thing has, oh, I'm so excited. I'm glad that I found it and that's why I wanted to share it. So the unit costs about 75 bucks. It comes with a receiver, comes with the transmitter and some various cables, uh, in this case, for Nikon cameras. And it's really easy. Plug into the side of the camera, just like I would with a wired one. And this time though, I plug into the receiver. Here on the transmitter end, which I can just keep in my pocket, I set it up, and interestingly enough, I really suspect that this Fotix, as well as this Pixel, may be made on the exact same assembly line because they're, they're virtually identical to include the menu layout. So I go in, set up the parameters for the intervalometer uh, images I want shot, and then I hit play, and it starts running. And it's worked beautifully. So the first thing that comes to mind, because I've been burned by wireless equipment, and it's why even today I'm using a wired lavalier mic because I've been burned. You know, the, the worst time possible is when it'll lose connection. So with this, looking at the instructions, Pixel claims that you can take this transmitter as far away as 80 meters from the receiver. Um, for those of us in America, it's something like 260 feet. Um, you can go up to 80 meters away from the receiver and it keeps working. However, it made me wonder and question, what about the fact that, you know, I get into a metal car, metal can certainly cause interference. What's going to happen if I lose signal for whatever reason, because it is wireless. So I pop the back off, remove the battery, disabling the system. And to my surprise, the receiver continues to shoot following the last directions that you gave it. And it just keeps going. And so right there, that's a built-in redundancy that really takes away my fear of using a wireless system. And before long though, I started to think, well, what about when this system and the transmitter reacquires the receiver? Is that gonna interrupt it? And then I don't know that uh, you know, I, I'm no longer getting images. Well, I popped the battery back in, powered it back up, and to my surprise, the transmitter will sit looking like it still needs to be activated. It's not doing anything, but it is on. Over on the receiving end, it still keeps on running like it has. It doesn't actually stop until you send it a stop signal from the transmitter. So 
even if you're losing signal back and forth between these two, you get too far away, the metal is interfering, this receiver will just keep on shooting. And then one other thing with this is that if for some reason you're out in the field and you have, for whatever reason, misplaced the receiver, you're not dead in the water because you can move the cable over and plug it into the transmitter and now you have a wired unit. The other thing is, is that if for some reason the batteries were to die in one of these two units, you could move the batteries that are still alive over to the handheld. And again, like I said, go wireless. So there's a lot of beauty to the system. And then one last thing I want to mention on it that I like is on the receiver, it flashes green when it's on. And then anytime you're actually taking an exposure, it turns to red. And that's nice from sitting inside of my shelter, or my vehicle, because from the distance I can monitor what this is doing and know that all of my equipment is running as it should. So there you have it. Pixel for Nikon model TW283. Uh, and it is a full wireless with built-in redundancies. You can't beat it. 75 bucks at the time of recording. If money is an absolute though, um, <clears throat> Model F1103 Fotix, a wired setup, it's great. Either way, yeah, you know, you're, you're not going to be disappointed. If you are also <clears throat> new to this channel, we have recently started up a Facebook channel. It is AstroVenture DSLR. You can find myself there, Sasquatch Mike, the rest of the New Moon crew, as well as many people from all over the world that have joined into that Facebook group. It is a learning place. Feel free to share your images, ask questions, and within the DSLR mirrorless camera lens, simple Star Tracker, Skyguider Pro, Star Adventure, you know, genre of, of doing astrophotography, we're more than happy to help out any way we can. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.